What up, what up, everyone? It's your boy Dio, and this is Frankla Investment by Onanians. Woo! Today, I'm going to talk about the 1.9 trillion US dollar stimulus bill, guys. The house finally passed Biden's 1.9 trillion US dollar stimulus bill. And today, in this video, I am going to tell you guys how this bill is going to affect your investment in bio nanogenomics, you know, going forward. So, the house, led by uh, Speaker Nancy Pelosi, voted largely along party lines to advance the stimulus plan which includes jobless benefits for millions of america okay but we are not here to talk about the 1.9 trillion us dollars bill we just want to talk about how this is going to affect the genome industry as a whole and how bio nanogenomics can benefit from this package okay so let's go to the next page now the most important part of this bill is this part okay 1.75 billion us dollars in genomic sequencing or dna mapping of virus samples to identify potentially more dangerous coronavirus mutations and study how fast they are spreading okay this uh, 1.75 billion us dollars you know in genomic sequencing or dna mapping is what we have to focus on in this video okay and i am going to try to explain to you guys as much as possible i mean i am going to shed more light on this topic because a lot of people are asking me dio what do you think about the 1.9 trillion us dollars on stimulus bill and how is this going to affect uh, uh their investment in bio nano genomics so i am going to try my best in this video to tell you guys more on this topic and as we already can see this bill this 1.75 billion us dollars package is meant for genomic sequencing or dna mapping you guys have to understand something okay i mean because i see a lot of people making videos about on um, dna mapping i mean talking about this 1.75 billion us dollars and relating it to dna mapping you guys have to also understand that most of all these writers take a look at this for example this uh this news is from ap it was posted on the 12th of on January of on um, February 2021 and it was written by Allen Fram okay and in my opinion I don't think this Allen Fram you know is anybody is someone that you know has deep knowledge of this genomic or sequencing industry so sometimes on uh, these writers also use on uh, words that you know can be conf confusing you know so for example here he said uh, 1.75 billion US dollars in Gen, you know, he quote it genomic sequencing or DNA mapping of virus samples. So it's not really clear what he was talking about here. So in this video, I am going to shed more light on this topic. So let's go to the next page, guys. Now, check this out, guys. This is a PDF created by American Society for Microbiology. And in this PDF, they spoke about the money, you know, how much, I mean, what they are going to use this kind of font what they are going to use it for okay and i am going to uh, tell you guys more about it in a minute take a look at this support advanced molecular detection at the centers for disease control and prevention invest in precision precision public health that is what they are going to use this font for the advanced molecular detection program brings cutting edge technology to the front lines of public health by harnessing the power of next generation sequencing and high performance computing with bioinformatics and epidemiology expertise to start to study pathogens okay and you guys can easily tell on uh, next generation sequencing of course is going to be there okay because next generation sequencing you know illumina pack bio and so on and so forth these guys are leading bio nanogenomics until now you know was the under was underground okay until december after that massive software update bio nanogenomics was not it's not i mean it's not included on this list okay but right now bio nanogenomics is you know these guys the, the the ceo for example is delivering they are going to events you know they are trying to tell the world about the power of the sapphire so next year in my opinion i mean hopefully we're not gonna have uh this coronavirus is going to be you know subdued it's not gonna be as crazy as it, as it is right now so in the coming in the following years in the in the coming years I expect bio genomics, you know, I expect them to keep delivering. I mean, as from now on, I expect them to keep delivering, to keep telling the world, researchers about um, the power of the sapphire. So 
and anytime there is any fund you know related to all this kind of uh uh what is what should i call covid 19 for example i expect bio nanogenomics i mean optical genome mapping to be included in such statement i mean right now we just have next generation sequencing and if you guys have seen my previous video i spoke about um how Illumina and Bionanogenomics are being used by practice genomics, you know, to detect rare, rare uh, diseases. And um, I am telling you guys that in the future, we are going to be seeing a lot of, you know, uh, sequence, next generation sequencing devices. Next, I mean, we are already seeing those things already today. We are already seeing them. We will, we will keep seeing uh, Sapphire next to next generation, next generation sequencing uh, devices. That is uh, what I am. Um, I think about um, the future. That is that is my opinion on what is coming uh, next. So, if you are going to talk about how this money is connected to bio nanogenomics, the best thing you can do is first of all you have to figure out how is Sapphire helping with COVID nineteen. You know what is the purpose of Sapphire in terms of COVID nineteen, and what you have to do is you simply have to go to bio nanogenomics press releases and search for COVID-19 uh, press release. As we can see, we have two releases in January, okay? Press release in January. This one is from 11th of January, 2021, and the second one is from uh, 18th of January. We're experts. I'm just gonna read this title then because the important one is here, okay? But let me read this title to you guys. Day five of BioNano's Next Generation Cytogenomics Symposium. Sapphire identifies structural variants that may predispose to severe uh, COVID-19 illness. So that is um, from the 18th of January. But this one is the most important one. Why? Because the CEO of Bionanogenomics spoke about this topic, you know, and I believe his opinion is the best opinion on this matter. I don't even need to read all this for you guys, but I can read only this title. COVID-19 host Genome SV Consortium identifies structural variants with possible roles in pathogenesis and outcomes in several uh, ill COVID-19 patients using BioNano Sapphire system. Okay, so that is the title of this uh, article. But the important part is from uh, Dr. Eric, uh, the CEO of BioNano Genomics, and that is where we are going to end uh, this video. So let me read it to you guys as quick as possible. So I quote him, the COVID-19 pandemic continues without signs of slowing down. This study demonstrates that the wide variation in sim symptoms exhibited by patients is likely not random for most of them, but instead, at least partially, the result of SVs, don't forget that is structural variants, the influence of SVs affecting critical pathways in patients defenses against infection and immune responses to the disease. The results also demonstrate that even when a disease has already been studied extensively with sequencing, OGM with Sapphire has the potential to reveal significant insights not seen without it. While we are devastated by the loss of lives caused by the global pandemic, we are grateful that our genome analysis platform can contribute to a better understanding of the disease and possibly help save lives. So that is the important thing that you guys need to um, know about this um, 1.75 billion US dollars package, COVID-19 relief package, okay? If you are wondering how is this connected with binary genomics, so I am going to tell you now. As you guys can see from what I just read, the OGM with Sapphire has the potential to reveal significant insights not seen without it, okay? So now we are coming back to the topic of uh, which laboratory, which researchers, you know, which uh, clinics out there is using Sapphire to work on uh, COVID-19, you know, this pandemic. So, and how are they using it? That is the question. And of course, according to what Dr. Eric is saying here, we have a lot of researchers already using Sapphire, you know, to detect structural variants, you know, that next generation sequencing are unable to detect. They, we already have people out there using it. So I believe somehow it is very difficult to calculate how much of this 
1.75 billion US dollars is going to get to buy an genomics. It is very difficult. But one thing I can tell you guys is there for sure will be some you know amount of this money that is going to uh, buy an genomics from this uh, fund. That is my conclusion. I believe there is some uh, you know part of this money is going to buy an genomics, which is very good for the company because it's going to generate revenue. I mean, I love mathematics, but I am still unable to calculate how much exactly it's going to take a lot in a longer video, you know, to talk about how much exactly is going into buy an genomics through on um, this fund. But I believe a part of this money is going to buy an genomics. So if I have any other information, I am going to let you guys out. You guys will be the first person to know, you know, to know if I have any other information on this topic. So if you are new on this channel, that's why you have to subscribe. Any other information about this 1.75 billion US dollars fund, I will be the first person, you know, to let you guys know. So have a wonderful day, guys. Thank you very much to, to all my new subscribers. Thank you on um, to all my old subscribers as well. And happy new month, guys. Happy new week. I wish you guys a wonderful day. I remain your boy Dio. This is Frank La Investment. Bye bye.